done for you. Amen? Amen. So, could be worry, could be things that you think about that. And let me share this one thing, last thing, I shared on Wednesday. Um, in the New Testament, um, we see about traps in Traps. Right? Traps in And when you think about a trap, okay, let's say a mouse trap. Okay? Let's think about a mouse trap. What do you put on it to catch the mouse? Peanut butter, cheese, whatever. Or whatever. Right. Is a peanut butter, bread, or whatever, cheese, or whatever, or meat, is that something good, useful? Yes? Yes, it's edible. Right. But, mouse doesn't know that he's going to be caught. Okay, now, so first he sees, that's a piece of cheese, he sees that it's good. It's, it's, Right, it's the food he wants, he's hungry, it's good. Okay, it's a fact. Right? Where the enemy traps Christians is to bring facts first. You have a problem, you tell the facts in your mind. Okay? Let's say you have a financial problem, you tell all the bills you want to pay. Okay? They'll, they'll play in your mind. Okay? Are those facts? Yes, they are facts. Or let's see symptoms. The symptoms, are they facts? Yes, they are facts. Let's see marriage problems. Are they facts? Or one yelling and shouting at each other and, you know, being catching dogs, are they facts like that? Or please not, but let's say, those are facts. Okay. So any people remind you of those facts, that's like the cheese of the trap. Declared Son of God with power. I'm declared Daughter of God with power. I have power. 
and I want to follow the flow through me, right? I want to follow the part of the way of my life. And you hate the enemy, the hatred, okay? Let's close our eyes and you concentrate. You don't have to close your eyes, but if you close your eyes, you can concentrate a bit better and avoid distraction. That's not ten minutes. That's not ten minutes. Let's close our eyes. And you know the areas the mind is struggling with, the enemy is overworking your mind. <coughs> enemy is good at overworking someone's mind and, and thinking, thinking, thoughts, 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 body, body, fear, fear, anxiety, attack, right? Think of those and just say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you bow down to the name of Jesus. I make you bow down to the name of Jesus. I make you bow down to the name of Jesus. Yes, any fear, any fear you be down to the name of Jesus, your fear of man. Fear of the unknown, fear of the future, fear of this or fear of that, fear of failure, fear of not being good enough. What are the failures? In the name of Jesus, I command you to leave in Jesus' name. I command you to leave in Jesus' name. I have power as a son of God. I have power as a daughter of God. Yes, God and I are one. God and I are one. And you have the privilege of being son of God. You lost it and you are coming against me from living the lifestyle. I come against you in the name of Jesus. I come against you in the name of Jesus. I make you bow down in the name of Jesus. Fear you bow down in the name of Jesus. And be, just be forceful. Be forceful, be rude, be strong. But the enemy know it that you're forceful. But the enemy know that you're strong. Don't just speak to you, but command him with authority. You have authority. Command him with full strength in the name of Jesus. Warning you be God in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Anything that comes against my life from living the fullness of Son of God with power, fullness of life of Son of God, I come against you in the name of Jesus. 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 Be forceful. Be loud. Be strong. What it is? Yes. Be persistent. Don't stop to feel that those thoughts are gone. Those facts are coming like a tape player 